aerodynamics account for 80 to 90 percent of the resistance or actually what you are fighting uh, against when you're putting in power to move forward. The reason for why we go to wind tunnels because it gives us controllable conditions that allows us to compare different setups. So the body rocket system is a system that basically takes the wind tunnel out on the road. If you have a body rocket system you just have it on your bike and every single day is like almost like being in a wind tunnel rather than being twice a year. Our whole goal at Body Rocket is to change how athletes train and race. Anybody who is really passionate about cycling can now have the access to the same level of, of detail and insight about their aerodynamics that the, the professionals have. So this morning we were in the Silverstone Wind Tunnel. The athletes we were working with this morning are Christian Blumenfeld and Gustav Eden. They are uh, the fastest athletes on this planet. So this year, uh, Body Rockets have uh, helped me quite a lot with the bike position. So we've been working with the same position and trying to find out how, how we can sort of gain better CDA without burning too much on the muscles. They have put me in a position that has been strong and safe and been working well enough to still be ranked number one in PTO. When you are validating or finding a position that is suitable for an athlete, you have to go out in the, into the field. That's the same thing that we have learned in all other settings as well. When you do metabolic testing or metabolic profiling of an athlete, there is a discrepancy between doing it in a laboratory setting and doing it outdoors. You always want to do it in the setting where the, the, it's as close as possible or actually the same settings that the athlete is competing and training in. We know from before when we have done testing out on the road and in the wind tunnel that uh, the data aligns uh, really well. All testing will actually in the future be happening out in the field with systems like the one from Body Rocket. The difference is that for manufacturers that are making, for example, suits, helmets, bikes and these kind of things, then of course, obviously you're going to do the testing in a wind tunnel. So Body Rocket uh, doesn't specifically replace a wind tunnel, but at the elite level it uh, complements it and allows athletes to take what they've learned in the wind tunnel and refine and hone that out in the real world. When you go into a wind tunnel, it's a little bit of an artificial setting. You're locked onto a four stand, you're sitting locked on a bike. It's very easy to take a position where it's not sustainable out on the road. You don't get to feel the balance of your position when you're sitting locked in. Even though we try to get as low CDA as possible, it's about finding a position that is uh, rideable, that I can feel like comfortable in, in corners, but also that my muscles and legs can sort of deal with, and also that I can be strong running off the bike. thing is in winter you're just, you're just sitting in one position and often the, the session is shorter you're doing five or ten minutes at a time like in an Ironman it's after two two hours on the bike that is really getting uh, challenging with the body rocket system you can see how the CDA is changing with the fatigue what we see even if you go into the wind tunnel and you test a position and even for riders like Christian and Gustav still the problem for them is to to get back into that exact position the good thing with the body rocket system is it gives you real-time feedback as you're riding and now instead of remember like a position you can actually get real-time feedback whether you are aerodynamic or whether you're not the great thing with the body rocket is that it's live data so like you can see it on your computer just those like small adjustment, you can sort of get that feedback straight away. Christian and Gustav are parking their long course bikes and now they're going to be on their road bikes for the Olympics. We need to be able to, to move our technology uh, from the time trial bikes that we've been working with them on over to a road bike. Today we're just really excited because we're able to uh, unveil the first road bike with Body Rocket technology integrated in. We're looking forward to Paris and so we wanted to show you a new piece of technology. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. You it's, are uh, kidding me. It is definitely a test bike, but it's mm -hmm. fully functional. We've had it on the, in the tunnel. So some few nutrition can give it a go a bit yeah. today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs>
this is your test platform for anything for the next 12 months or leading into, into Paris. That is really nice. <laughs> yes, impressed. <laughs> So we need to be able to, to move our technology uh, from the time trial bikes that we've been working with them on over to a road bike. And it's always been on a development path, but we saw an opportunity to move that up by a year plus. It's been really exciting that uh, not only did we think it could work, but we put it all together and it worked really well. Aerodynamics will play a major role in Paris. And this is a place where obviously Body Rocket is for us the most important system to quantify this. This is critical for Christian and Gustav because this is going to enable them to have hundreds of hours of information about their aerodynamics um, that nobody else is going to have. Nobody is going to spend more than, I don't know, 10, 12 hours in a wind tunnel between now and Paris. Let's them test their aerodynamics all the way along that journey to Paris. To have body rocket on a road bike will be a game changer for the Olympics.